Thank you, James. Good evening and welcome to Toronto on this Thursday night, the first of four meetings this year between the Toronto Maple Leafs, the two-time defending Stanley Cup champion, Tampa Bay Lightning. Toronto has one goal from a defenseman this year, Ray Ferraro, and it comes from Jake Muzzin, who just hasn't had a very good start by his standards. But the reason I want to focus on Muzzin tonight in a game with Hedman and Marner and Matthews uh, and, and Braden Point is that he's the most important defenseman for the Leafs outside of Morgan Riley. There is nobody else on the Leaf blue line that can play like him. Heavy, strong. The, the Lightning can forecheck. They have some big forwards. Muzzin has to be good tonight. Anthony Sorelli facing off against Austin Matthews. Two teams that have won three games in a row apiece. As Sorelli drops it back to Chernak. Back to Ryan McDonough. Lightning won two Stanley Cups in 283 days, and Sorelli comes busting it and shoots and lifted that wide. You heard the guys talk about it on the pregame show. Chris Johnson mentioning to Anthony Sorelli bidding for a spot on Canada's Olympic team, which will be coached by John Cooper. And here's Sorelli battling for it with Morgan Riley. An open corner, William Nylander, who was terrific in Vegas on Tuesday night. Looks for bunting, doesn't clear it up. McDonough back for Chernak along wrist shot, hit a leg in front, Matthews has it back. Head for Nylander with Bunting. Toronto changing as Nylander flips that in. And Andre Vasilevsky knocks that aside easily. Lightning did not hold the lead in regulation in their first six games of the season. Taylor Radish, the Caledon, Ontario native. For Matthew Joseph, drops it back for Victor Hedman. He lost the handle. Engvall, lead pass, bounces off the stick of Kasha. MJ Kasha back to cross for Engvall. In the corner is Joseph. And now Kasha holds the line along. Rishak got two. Vasilevsky the save. There's away the rebound. Engvall swings that towards the goal. And Victor Hedman, a finalist for the Norris Trophy, five straight years knocking along the boards. Engvall is shot. That's blocked. Muzzin lays it back in. Jan Ruta leaves it there for Hedman. Blocked major minutes in the Stanley Cup playoffs last year. Did Hedman injured for most of it. Uh, finished with uh, meniscus surgery a, a week after the, the playoffs. Says he feels much better, of course, with a healthy knee. In comes Mitch Marner, drop back for Tavares. And that pass is picked off and brought the other way by Andre Palat. Palat with Barre Boulay, a centering pass. Palat shoots at the outside of the post. And now Kerfoot sends it back the other way. Now Sergeyev back across for Chernak. Chernak gets bumped. The lead pass goes to Steven Stamkos. Drops it off to Palat. Now Palat swings it back in deep. Travis Dermott counters it back up. Dermott hitting the foot with a shot against Vegas on Tuesday. It was x-rayed during the game and returned. Sergeyev. Long lead pass for Pat Maroon. That bounced off his stick. Now Campbell loses the handle for a moment. Ross Colton almost centered there. And Riley's got it back for Toronto. Maroon. A three-time Stanley Cup champion in the last three years, and now that's touched up in the Tampa zone, and play is called. Tampa has two chances off the rush early in the game here. A turnover inside the line, and Palat has a 2-1-2. Two -two. The pass is blocked. He's got an open side. He ends up chipping it off the side of the net. A good defensive play by Lilligren to deny the pass. Here's early in the game. Dermott leads with his stick, but he gets himself turned away. If he keeps his shoulders square, he's going to run into Sorelli. He doesn't. He turns sideways. A beautiful move by Sorelli, who chips that up over top of Jack Campbell. And not a start Travis Dermott wants to think about. No surprise here that David Camp will take the defensive zone faceoff for Toronto against Braden Point. Point, of course, remember the Lightning team that won that five overtime game in this building against Columbus in the NHL bubble. Scored the overtime winner. And here's Ruta back at the point for Kalorn. Now it's Kalorn. Starting a four game goal scoring streak. That centering pass just missed it. Now Ruta's got it back. Down for Kalorn. Gets back to the point to Hedman. Drops it back to point. Brings it back in deep and TJ Brody picks it off. Now Cam tries to poke that ahead. Kalorn steals it back. Kalorn is 10th year with the Lightning, the longest tenured Tampa Bay player. Point back to Hedman, long shot, gloved by Campbell, and he'll hang on. These key parts of the game are brought to you by Napa Auto Parts.
Both teams come in on three game winning streaks and Tampa doesn't defend the cycle very well. 25th in the National Hockey League. They're gonna wanna stomp on that Leaf cycle so they don't get it going. And Toronto wants the transition game that we've seen from Tampa early on. Connect between the defense and the forwards. You make a short pass so you can stretch the defense. The Leafs haven't done it here in the first couple of minutes. Tampa has, they've had a couple of good chances off the rush. Austin Matthews wins that draw away from Pierre Edward Belmar, who came over from Colorado in the offseason for the Lightning. Here's Chernak with it. Up ahead to Matthew Joseph with Radish and Belmar. Joseph centers. Belmar in, shoots at the goalpost. Trying it right off the crossbar. Now Chernak a shot. That goes wide. It's another rush chance for Tampa. Three already. Now Ryan McDonough with a shot goes off the leg of Matthews. And Matthews pokes that back to center right. Dunham, up to center to Joseph, tied up there by Bunting. Shots are even at two apiece, but Tampa's hit a couple of posts here in the first period. Rasmus Sandin to Alex Kerfoot. His drop pass is picked off, and Palat sends it back down to the Toronto line. And Palat, a seventh-round pick of the Lightning in 2011. Has been a terrific player for them the last decade. Battle for it along the boards, and Barry Boulay pokes that free. Alex Barry Boulay was lost on waivers of Seattle rank, then reclaimed a week later. That makes him the first former Seattle Kraken in the NHL. Now, when he got claimed, he was on the golf course. They had to scramble because Seattle had that COVID outbreak. He flies out there, plays a game, put on waivers again, and now he's right back home. And you're not going to find two teams much further apart than Tampa and Seattle. Bunting falls down, that opens up to three on two, but really it's a four on two as McDonough's in the rush too. Here, Edward Belmar shot, rings the crossbar up over top of Jack Campbell and the Leafs catch a break. It's Belmar who never played a game in the NHL until 29 years old and has now become a respected eight year veteran. Cranks one off the goalpost. Born and raised in France, spent eight years in Sweden, signed to the World Hockey Championship. Originally, by the Philadelphia Flyers in 2014. Here's Spets on it. Jason Spetsa. His pass picked off by Sergeyev. Lead for Stamkos. Across it goes to Hedman who chops that down to the Toronto zone. Tampa changing Muzzin quickly ahead for Simmons. Nick Ritchie pokes that in and knocked away by Cal Foot. Son of longtime NHLer Adam Foot. Looks like him. Wears the same number as him. Right handed. He cross checks you, you know it's him. <laughs> well, Adam was pretty good at that. In comes Perry with the place offside for Colton. And play is called. Corey Perry was signed in Tampa to a two year deal. That does not have a point. I was talking, uh, yet this season, I was talking to one of the Tampa coaches today, and they said once a game so far, Perry has had his hands up. Can't believe that he hasn't been able to crack the zero goal mark. He's been all over the front of the net. It's not found a way to jump on the board yet. Hasn't scored his last 29 regular season games, but did have four in the playoffs last year for Montreal. You know, him and Jason Spets are <laughs> having a conversation here. I don't know. We might be talking about something from 20 years ago that none of the other guys are going to know about. Well, a good moves away from Kalorn. For Bunting, chips at the center ice, and now Sorelli drops it back to Cherna. Chernak's last goal was the first goal of last year's Stanley Cup final. Game one against Montreal. Point. Spins along the boards, drops it back to Chernak along wrist shot that was tipped and blocked in front by Lilligren. Nylander waiting for it, chips that by McDonough. Now Chernak steps up. Chernak a bump there by Matthews, didn't appreciate that, gives him a shot. Sandin spins away from Joseph. Lead pass for Tavares. That was blocked by Radish. Of course, the Lightning lost their entire third line in the offseason. Ward, along with Coleman and Barkley Goodrow, all departed. And the Lightning also, of course, went Nikita Kucherov, who was once again injured and out for some time. Of course, he missed all of the last regular season. Belmar drops it back for Hedman. That's picked up by Tavares. Hedman's got it back. Across he goes to Ruta. Yeah, Ruta tees it up and shoots. Off the skate of Radish and Wise. 
Edmund tried to lift that in. It was blocked by Marner. And Ruth tees it up and fires it back down to the leaf zone. Toronto won that last regular season meeting in March of 2020. Tampa had won three straight here prior to that. Puck was behind the goal. Sergeyev's got it back. Chris pass there for Palat. Rink wide. He goes for Stamkos. In with Barry Boulay. Stamkos shoots. Whistled that high. Palat. Back around the line. Held by foot. Foot banks it off the end boards. Palat. Pins away from Brody. Drops it back to Stamkos. The Sergeyev is shot. Tipped wide by Barry Boulay. Andre Palat. Loose in the corner now. Stamkos reaching for it. Puck loose. Boulay was taken down by Camp, and a tripping call will go against Toronto, and the Tampa Bay Lightning will go to the power play when we come back. The game is David Camp is whistled for tripping as an extended shift in the offensive zone for Tampa Bay leads to this trip. So the Lightning, who have five power play goals on the season, of course, are missing Nikita Kucherov, who's the wheel on their power play. We'll get their first chance here tonight. Stamkos has three of those power play goals. Five goals in nine games. His best start in five years in the NHL. He skates. His skating is so much more fluid. Just watching him here a few times, Gord, fly up the ice at ice level. I'm like, man, this looks more like Stamkos of old. Less laborious, easier stride, and all of a sudden he's up and down the ice, playing in the middle of the ice, too, which is probably a benefit to him. Point will take the draw here on the power play against Kerfoot. And he wins it. Back to Hedman. Victor Hedman, nine assists in nine games for Tampa so far. Stamkos sends it. Kalorn hacked that wide. Kalorn trying to become the first player in the league this year to have a five-game goal-scoring streak, but it's cleared down the ice by Brody. Talk about streaks, of course, for the Lightning. They're trying to become the first team in the NHL to win three straight Stanley Cups since the Islanders won four straight in the early 80s. Muzzin pokes at it, knocked free by Barry Boulay. He was a tremendous scorer in junior, signed as an undrafted free agent by the Lightning. Away comes Kasha with it, with Brody. Kasha shoots, Vasilevsky saved. Rebound kind of stuck to him, and Brody couldn't reach it. And back for it. Great effort by both Brody and Kasha on that shorthanded bit. Edwin steps out slowly. To Palat. Lead pass to Sorelli in stride. Anthony Sorelli drops that back to Sergachev. Swings it across to Corey Perry. Perry. Back in the corner for Colton. Sergachev. Back across to Palat. Palat centers a tipped on goal by Perry, knocked away by Campbell. And Perry looks skyward again. Away comes Kerfoot with it. Alex Kerfoot, that's knocked away by Colton. Alex Colton scored the only goal in the Stanley Cup clinching game for the Lightning, the 1-0 winning against Montreal in game five. Colton in, shoots, ripped that wide. 15. His power play unit with a couple of chances. Perry and tight and Colton there about 15 feet. He just rips it wide of the net. One shot for Lightning so far on this power play. Sergachev lays it ahead for point. Great point. Knocked off stride by Marner as Camp steps back on. Pass it to the point of the opening period. Still no score. McDonough holds the line for Chernak. Little slap pass. Bounces back in front. Campbell had to be quick with that. Can't fight that. He's out back out of the Tampa zone. Sure, back around for McDonough. And that puck loses the side of the goal. Blocked by Vasilevsky. And he'll hang on. Nakasha with a great chance, shorthanded. Still no score on Molson Canadian Leafs hockey on TSN. Game shorthanded. Andre Kasha and TJ Brody link up. It all starts with a really nice effort behind the net. Brody shows off his agility in skating to wheel out of the zone. Now Kasha's got some room. Hedman wants to deny the pass across. This is a quick shot by Kasha that Vasilevsky's able to get the shoulder on. Started with a Brody run out of the defensive zone, and Kasha ended up with the scoring chance. Okay, 
Kings off at the offensive zone for Austin Matthews. Tied up there by Sorelli. Matthews pivots back, taken down by Sorelli. The pass misfires for Riley and goes back down the ice. Riley being forechecked there by points. Sorelli centers it. Jack Campbell will pounce on that. Pretty slow start for the Leafs big guns here the other night. It was good to see Austin Matthews get off the mark here. Power play marker, great feed from Nylander, and that's a violent release on the wrist shot. And then Matthews, Marner, and Nylander get out together on a shift late in the second period. Matthews alone in front of the net. He puts the rebound past Robin Leonard for a two spot. Marner had one. Everything looked good the other night. Two assists for Marner on Matthews' goals. As Matthews shoots from a sharp angle, saved made by Vasilevsky. Last year, Marner had assists on 25 Matthews goals. The most prolific combination in the league last year. The player assisting on a teammate's goals. As Brody hustles back and icing called against Tampa Bay. So the other day, we see Matthews scoring the wrister on the power play and a rebound. Down the wing, that last rush showed off a little bit of his improved skating. They keep talking about how he gets more and more powerful. He just made his own room for a shot on goal. You see Marner's assist total growing by the year. 24 two years ago, 25 last year. Just on the Matthews goals. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty good combination. If they get the power play rolling, those numbers will be big. Chernak for Palat. Flips it back to center ice and Riley back to pick it up. Here is Morgan Riley. Have that pass ahead. And back goes Vasilevsky for it. Around the boards. Radish is tied up. And now Radish moves it back to center ice. Scooped up by Marner. And Marner drops it back to Travis Dermott. Riley. Steps out and finds Dermott. Lead pass broken up at center ice by Ruta. Lead pass just missed the speedy Matthew Joseph. Marner across to Dermott. Slaps that down the Tampa zone. Vasilevsky got a stick on that. This is there for Belmar to Ruta. Up ahead for Joseph. Throws that rink wide. Poked ahead by Radish. He's tied up by Lilligren. Here is Rasmus Sandin. For Matthews. Poke check there by Perry, but stolen back by Sandy. Bunting flips it ahead. Chernak. Up ahead for Perry. Corey Perry flips that in. Matthews scoops it up away with Bunting. That lead pass is up by Perry, but it bounces to Bunting. And Bunting has a puck roll off his stick. Sergachev. Takes it back around to Colton. He's tied up along the board by Simmons. Simmons pulls it free. Walks it in. Shoot. Saved by Vasilevsky. Loose puck in front. Maroon's got it back. And Pat Maroon banks it off the glass. And this fourth line shift's going to extend as the Lightning ice the puck. Really good work by Wayne Simmons here as he's able to get the puck from the boards and doesn't waste any time to get it into a position that is now a dangerous scoring chance. He tries to go up top on Vasilevsky, but a little puck battle, and Simmons is going to beat both Sergachev and Colton off the wall. He makes a little toe drag into a good spot, and Vasilevsky makes a nice stop. And Sheldon Keith, the Leaf coach, shows some confidence in the fourth line, leaves them out there for the faceoff after the icing. Matthews had just come off. Battle for the draw, won by Colton. Now kicked back by Richie Spezza. He finds Brody. Slaps it across to Muzzin. Muzzin walks in. Vasilevsky down. That pass was blocked by Chernak. And Perry's got it back the other way for Tampa. In comes Corey Perry. A centering pass for Maroon. Get the shot away. Scores! Perry to Maroon. And the Lightning grab the lead. Well, with all due respect, I wouldn't say this was the most blazing of two-on-ones. As the bench is going to get a... A pretty excited look at Pat Maroon. Maroon and Perry combined for their first points of the season. Perry slides this 
just in front of the diving Jake Muzzin. The puck gets all the way across to Maroon. You mentioned three straight Stanley Cups. His shot goes short side on, George, on Jack Campbell. Muzzin goes flying into the net. And Tampa has a 1-0 lead on another man advantage rush. Maroon from Perry. Maroon's first goal in 30 regular season games. He did score twice in the playoffs last year. That's his time of the year. Not since those other teams of the late of the early 1980s as a player won three consecutive Stanley Cups. A bunch of the Islanders did it. Muzzin's going to come from all the way back here. The Leafs have numbers, four of them back, but Muzzin can't quite get to that pass. It goes right past him, and then he catapults into the net behind Campbell. Lighting has been to the at least the conference final round, Ray, five times in the last seven years, and as a result, Ryan McDonough has played more playoff games in the last decade than anyone else in the NHL. And a lot of the other Tampa Bay players aren't far behind. Jeff Halpern looking over the shoulder of Pat Maroon there. And there is Ryan McDonough, who was acquired a few years ago in a, in a pretty hefty trade with the Rangers, a first round pick among other assets going back to the Rangers. And let's think of the Lightning thing. So they get Hedman on the ice 25 minutes a game, McDonough's 22 minutes a game. And all of a sudden, you get into a spot that other guys can handle those remaining minutes. Kalorn battling for it. By the way, the Lightning list Kalorn is their longest tenured player because he was drafted by them in 2007. Stamkos was picked the next year. Stamkos has been with the team for 14 years, so in comes Kalorn with it. Quick shot. Campbell makes the stop on him. He doesn't like the shot that he took. It ended up hitting Jack Campbell in the belly for, for the stop. You mentioned Kalorn, who had been a third-line player like a lot of these guys had been a, a good player in the American Hockey League. They, they all seemed to come through what with Syracuse at one time. John Cooper was their coach there. Cooper was promoted. They brought a lot of those guys through. You have, of course, the stars of Stamkos and Vasilevsky and Hedman that were drawn in the top of the draft. They've traded some first round picks and you get a guy like McDonough back. And, man, they put together a, an exemplary organization. Off the faceoff, Stamkos had his shot blocked. You kept hearing Kalorn's name mentioned when the Lightning were looking to dump contracts, but it's proving just so valuable to them. They did offload Tyler Johnson. We mentioned the entire third line gone. Now that means more to come when points extension kicks in next year. One of these days, Kucherov's going to play a bunch of regular season games. Stamkos goes back to Hedman. Across the Ruta. He's up and shoots, and through the traffic, Jack Campbell makes the stop. Patrick Maroon has the opening goal of the game. The Lightning lead the Leafs 1 0 with 5.40 to go here in the first period. Short handed chance of Andre Kasha. His shot's going to hit Vasilevsky in the shoulder, but look at how TJ Brody had gotten to the inside of Barre Brule. Did that rebound fall somewhere else? He's going to be the one to bang it in the net. TSN 5G view gives you the ability to control the angle on every play, zoom in and out, and rotate around the action. Visit tsn.ca slash 5G view for more info. Leafs here tonight and have Boston on Saturday. The, road, the homestand wraps up Monday against the Los Angeles Kings. Kalorn pokes that back for Ruta. Across he goes to Hebben who chips it in. And Sheldon keeps telling us that Shockingly enough, that'll be his first ever game coaching against Boston in his third year as the head coach of Toronto. In comes Sorelli with it. Center pass for Kalorn, knocked down, and Marner catches it back up for Toronto. Johnson 8 5 in favor of the Lightning with a 1 0 lead. Back goes Riley for it. Back around to Dermott. Up for Kerfoot, drops it back to Riley. Morgan Riley chips it across to Matthews, skipped off his skate and points, got it back. Radish hopped off the bench. Tampa had too many men on the ice for a moment. Now a bouncing puck in front center, but they go to chance on a stop by Vasilevsky. Kind of a snowman save by the Lightning Netminder there, but he stopped it. Sergachev digging for it, Bunting takes it away from him. Scooped up by Joseph and poked out by Radish.
Brody. Knocked down by Engvall. Loose at center ice and now scooped it by, scooped up by Muzzinrado. Plays it down the lightning zone and Vasilevsky. These are there for Chernak. Kasha gathers it up and shoots. Vasilevsky save, rebound. Vasilevsky another save on camp and another. The puck still loose. Knocked away by Radish. Back at the point is Lilligren. Swings it back to Engvall. His long wrist shot blocked by Belmar. Here with Belmar. Slides it across to Chernak. It bounces off his skate and he quickly moves it back to center right. Joseph for Belmar. Whips that down to the Toronto zone. Campbell loses it there for Sandine. Three and a half to go in the opening period. Sandine. Lead pass for Spezza. And that will be called icing against Toronto. Vasilevsky's going to make a little bit of his own mess here as he's got the loose puck in his pass. Comes to Chernak, who has no room. Kasha's right behind him. And two chances, Kasha and Camp from around the crease as they are able to test Vasilevsky. There's a little earlier on, a little bit of an odd bounce, but Matthews jumps in first, and there's Bunting 10 feet in front of the net again. That was an earlier stop by Vasilevsky. He was falling backwards as he made it. Of all the stunning things the Lightning have done in the last two years, closing out all four series last year with shutouts, might be right at the top of the list. Vasilevsky has five shutouts in the postseason. Oh, well, Tom Spike Trophy is the playoff MVP. Stamkos has knocked off stride. Steven Stamkos swings that back to Hedman. Rossi goes to Sergeyev. That pass is picked off by Spezza. Flipped to the head, but that was tipped out of midair. Knocked down by Palat. Spezza steps into him. Now Hedman swings back for it. Hedman's pass ahead for Perry misfired. And Riley plays it around for Lilligren. Broken up by Colt. Behind the goal is Riley. Now Tavares on it. Up for Marner. Stolen by McDonough. 57 playoff games in the last 10 years. Two full regular seasons. I think I've played 75 in my career. <laughs> it's 18 years. <laughs> so, Andre Vasilevsky became the seventh Russian goaltender with 300 starts. If you look at him just behind Ken Dryden and wins in those 300 starts, 42 wins in overtime for Vasilevsky. Right, so, however. so Dryden didn't have overtime, so you have to be careful comparing those numbers from the past years before overtime in the shootout. Headman back for Sergeyev, shoots, and Campbell makes a stop on that. So only back with it. Now Headman lost the handle, chance for Warner. Headman gets a stick on it. That's going to be a penalty and maybe a penalty shot. Marner knocked down by Hedman and now a crowd comes in on him. Why the crowd is on is on Sergachev who hit Marner at the tail end of the penalty being called. Will be interesting to see if it's a penalty shot awarded to Mitch Marner. But, Should be. But Sergachev is headed to the box for sure. Maybe both. This could be Hedman and Sergachev. Hedman was going for the hook. At the very least, it's a hook. But Sergachev hit Marner late, so the puck's going to hop over Hedman's stick. This isn't a good race, so he's going to hook him and take the penalty. And oh, oh boy. boy, that's a bad hit from Sergachev. He makes contact to the head. Oh, yeah, of Marner. That's a bad hit. So the officials will talk about this. So this right now will be a five on three for Toronto. Minor penalty, hooking. 98 Tampa Bay, minor penalty, illegal check to the head. Referee Michael Markovich with the call. How is that not a penalty shot? It looked to me like Hedman had almost, you know, conceded the penalty shot at that point. Like he wasn't going to catch him. So the officials are now in a huddle talking about it. And both Stamkos and Riley will get the chat. So Kelly Sutherland explaining to Stamkos and Riley what's going on here. So Toronto's had 
this year, a minute and six of five on three time for one two man advantage. Did not score on it. There's the hook, pretty clear. There's the next hit, pretty clear. Fortunately, Marner is okay. Now John Cooper wants an explanation from the officials. Why is so, Marner on the? He's asking why is Marner on the ice? Correct. Said if you've called a hit to the head, why is Marner on the ice? And the faceoff comes outside, I presume, because because of the, the scrum. The leaf defenseman got involved in the scrum. A lot to sort out there, but the bottom line is it's a full two minutes of five on three for Toronto. Matthews, Tavares. Nylander, Marner up front with Riley running things from the back end. Matthews chips it across. Chernak running and tied up in the corner by Matthews. Drops it back to Riley. Riley to Matthews. Tavares parked in front. Here's Nylander with it. Back for Matthews. Ball with the puck for a moment. Now spins away from Belmar. Matthews. Down to Tavares. Back for Matthews. Riley. Marner. Mitch Marner shoots tip wide by Tavares. Matthews back on it, able to hold the line. Matthews swings it across to Riley. Riley back across to Marner. His centering pass is blocked by Chernak, who puts it off the stick of Riley and back out. Lightning get part of their penalty killing unit off the ice. Tavares stays out there with the top unit for Toronto. Here's Riley back across to Matthews. Under a minute to go in the five on three. Matthews lost the handle and now McDonough pokes it down the ice and now Campbell has to race out as Sorelli was bearing it on him. Ryan McDonough hasn't even attempted to leave the ice yet. The Leafs have to get the puck on the net. Make these three guys move. They're allowed to just stay in this set when the puck is moved around the outside. Marner to Riley. Crowd hollering for a shot now. 30 seconds to go in the power play. Marner shoots. Tipped in front. Vasilevsky makes the save on the deflection by Tavares. What ends up happening is you're now looking for the best chance, the best shot, and you hold it, hold it, hold it, and eventually nobody shoots the puck, so the defenders stay right in the middle of the ice. Marner does find Tavares' stick here for the deflection, but Vasilevsky holds the rebound in. There's nothing else. Now the Leafs, with 40, 30 seconds left on this five on three, go to their number two unit. You got to shoot the puck. You have to shoot it. Spezza. Bunting, Richie, Engvall, and Sandin, the defenseman. Now Belmar is tossed out, so McDonough has to take the draw against Spezza. Advantage I Toronto. on Spezza. And he kicks it back to Sandin. Well, there was no chance for McDonough on that. He didn't really give it much of an effort, just trying to tie up Spezza. Now Richie lays it back around to Engvall. That skips off his stick and back to center ice. 15 seconds to go with a five on three. Ball works his way in, drops it back across the bunting. The Spezza. Final seconds now, the two man advantage. Sandine back to Spezza. In shoots. McDonough got a piece of that. And the puck skips by Sandine. He holds the line. Hedman and Sergeyev step on. Sandine shoots. And Vasilevsky knocks that away. Chernak stepped hard into Sandine. Bounces by bunting here. Spezza on it. Final seconds of the period. The Tampa Bay Lightning survive a full two-minute five-on-three and take a one-nothing lead to the dressing room after one period of play. Coming up, it's our first intermission with James Duffy and the panel. Corey Perry and that scoreless first period for the Leafs ends their streak of eight consecutive periods in which they scored at least a goal. Ford Miller back here with Ray Ferraro and Ray, when Tampa got knocked out in the first round in 2019, there was a lot of talk that they changed the way they played in subsequent years, but what they've always done is really manage the game well. 
They really do, and it, I think a lot of it is familiarity the, with the system of John Cooper. The players are familiar with each other, and one of the things Toronto struggled with in that period was getting to Tampa on the forecheck to create some zone time. Look at the perfect position four times in a row that they were to break the puck out. There's Chernak, little positional pass to Belmar, to Joseph, they're out of the zone. They kill the cycle, which they haven't done very well. Two passes later, they're out of the zone, and it's clean. When you're trying to establish a forecheck, if you can't get to them fast enough, you end up chasing the puck. And we saw in those clips that the Leafs are always a half stride behind, chasing the puck in that first period. If they want to get to it, Marner and company are going to have to forecheck with support to hold the puck in the zone. So a five on three for two minutes, and the Leafs don't generate much for offense, don't score. It means a one nothing Lightning lead after one period of play. The Lightning players, Ray, would tell you that all that talk about how they changed things after the loss to Columbus in the first round, the sweep at the hands of the Blue Jackets, is a little overplayed. Well, of course they're going to say that because it makes them feel like they had to change. They had to make these grand changes to their game and their personnel. But they kind of did because they changed their third line. They became a more simplistic team. And their skill ends up taking over, too. Lead pass for Nylander just out of his reach. He gets there first and against the icing. Elon McDonough. Nylander throws out around to Matthews. Tied up by Chernak. And McDonough. Steps into Bunting. McDonough, once upon a time, the first round pick of the Montreal Canadiens. Plays it back to center right, and in comes Sorelli. Sorelli shoots, and a glove save by Jack Campbell. Sorelli had a going one way and shot it the other. When we first saw Anthony Sorelli, he had just come off scoring a game-winning goal in the Memorial Cup. He was Canada's checking center who had a bunch of offense with him. Then he comes to the NHL, and they're like, wow, oh, this kid's a good player. A later draft pick. Now they've got him on the wing with Stamkos in the middle. Skates a little more freely. Look at him come across the ice to test Campbell. That's a real sharp save by Campbell, too. Difficult to cross the body, and he gets the glove on it. Lauren Point and Sorelli. Three third-round picks by the Lightning. That's some good work. I mean, we all focus on the top two rounds, but look at the depth they built later in the draft. And don't forget, Palat's a seventh rounder. Bouncing cut from Belmar, pounced on by Campbell. Of course, Barry Boulay was an undrafted player. And then from the Stanley Cup champion teams, Tyler Johnson was an undrafted player yeah. as well. So they found value later in the draft, which when you see teams accumulate these picks, that they're just a pick, right? It's just a guy that you pick, and four years later, you're like, oh, yeah, that's where they got him from. That's how teams are built. You can't always get the star of the draft. It doesn't always, it never happens that way. Now a lead pass, Kerfoot jumping in, that's poked away by Vasilevsky. Most people don't know who Al Murray is. He's the director of scouting for the Lightning, but his staff has done an unbelievable job of keeping the pipeline full for a team that rarely drafts high and often trades away first round pick. And when he was let go in LA, his parting gift was Andre Kopitar and Jonathan Quick. Not so bad. Sergeyev, a long shot. That deflected just wide. Now Hedman on it. Hedman plays it around. Sergeyev knocks it down. A lot. Lead pass to Stamkos. In comes Stamkos. A shot. Campbell save. Barry Boy reaching for it. Couldn't quite get to it. Now Cal Foot tries a big shot off the end boards. Here's Tavares. Lost the puck to Foot. A lot back on it. Picked up by Perry. Perry skips that down to Colton. Ross Colton loose behind the goal now for the Lightning. Try to flip it back in front of bounce off Campbell. Colton still digging for it. And it's picked up by Marner. And Marner left that back down to the Lightning zone. Kyle Foot, a member of Team Canada's gold medal winning World Junior team in 2018. And a game saving stop on the goal line. Remember that? Knocked the puck off the goal line and aiming at Finland. In comes Sandine. Walks in, works in, shoots. Vasilevsky the stop. Camp can't hold the line. That's a terrific move by Sandine. Foot back on it. For Sergachev. Around the maroon. Sergachev pokes it around. 
Knocked down by Spezza. Engvall shot goes off a leg and bounces back to Maroon. The Tampa goal scorer. Now stolen by Simmons away from foot. To an open wing. Spezza reaches for it. Spezza shoots. It goes off the foot of Sergejev and back down the ice. Dermott with it. Lead pass for Simmons. Moves in, trying to slide that head, gets it back. A little backhand shot by Richie and a point blank save made there by Vasilevsky. Tail end of the shift and Tampa races off the ice, so there's a free lane of ice for Simmons to come up. He gets it through to the front of the net. Richie ends up with a good chance, the backhander that Vasilevsky turns aside. This is much like when Dermott got turned in the first period. That chance early in the game by Sorelli. Sandine does the same thing to foot. He gets his shoulders turned. So now your momentum's headed outside. Sandine goes the other way and gets an excellent scoring chance. Now Muzzin a long shot. Hit Matthews in front of his button. Spins and shoots. And Vasilevsky makes another point blank save. As a world champion, I prepare to win. I still do today. Every game starts at bet99.net. Vasilevsky's allowed just four goals in his last three starts. He's 3-0 on the road so far this year. So, like the Leafs, they come in on a three-game winning streak. And like the Leafs, they they had some teams that they probably should beat. They won 5-1 at Pittsburgh, but then it's Arizona and then Washington. So, some decent teams for, for Tampa to handle, but they've played quite well. Nylander centers it, picked up again. Nylander shoots it, goes off a skate and bounces wide. Brought up by Barry Boulay. Looks ahead for Stamkos. He's all over Brody. Stamkos trying to kick that free. McDonough. Alex Barry Boulay. Terrific score in junior and the American League. The American League Rookie of the Year. Matthews. As the pass bounces off Bunting. Barry Boulay in for Kalorn with Stamkos. Kalorn. Spins back, it was poke checked there by Matthews, and it's banked out by Bunting. Lead to Killorn, Sorelli, centers at point, in shoots, and Campbell makes the stop on the drive from Braden Point. That's the second chance in this period. The first was Stamkos, where Tampa moved the puck from the left wing across to the right, and the Leafs didn't react very well. Everybody's on this side of the ice, and here's Point coming off the bench on a change. Marner's late getting there. And Campbell again, like he did with the Stamco shot. Good positioning to make the stop. Really good puck movement by Tampa. Toronto's just a half a stride away most of the first 25 minutes here. Looks up for Kalor, and that shot was blocked. Scooped up now by Lilligren. Lead for Marner. Mitch Marner goes in the corner against Ruta. Ruta steps into him. Kalor lost the puck to Tavares. Hangs that back to Sandy. Rossi goes to Lilligren. That shot blocked by Sorelli. Tavares tries to center it, now Marner with a chance. Canada's up the rolling puck. Marner. To Tavares, tied up by Kalorn. Kerfoot back with it, across he goes. Look at the shot, that deflects wide. And Hedman on it for Tampa, sends it back to center ice. Riley bumped by point. And Sandine snaps that pass ahead, finds Camp. Drops it off to Engvall, and hooks it back in front of the pass, out of the reach of David Camp. Sorelli, in for point. Point. Up ahead for Radish, that was knocked away. Point was a gold medalist for Canada, the World Junior, in this building in 2015. That wasn't a bad team. As Belmar moves in. Drops it back, foot with a hard shot, kicked out by Campbell. Back of the line, Sergeyev, his long shot kicked off by Campbell. Camp gathers up the rebound. Jack Campbell's put in a terrific performance tonight. Even better tonight than he was in his shutout a couple of nights ago. Wasn't really tested by Vegas, which yep. of course was ravaged by injury today. Made the trade for Jack Eichel. As foot goes back, an icy call against Toronto. There's been three or four chances here in the first or in the second period that Campbell has had to be sharp with the foot shot there. Then Sergachev gets one through uh, traffic. What a terrific start to his Maple Leafs career. He's certainly talked about how much he's enjoyed it here, how he loves it here and wants to stay. And 
for all the questions that people might have about whether Jack Campbell can handle a starting role, I'd say each time they He's had a chance to answer so far. It's been yes, yes, and yes for the Leafs. I was say he likes it here. He really likes it here. 12, 1, and 1. His last 14 decisions here at home. Sergeyev long shot. Out the way by Campbell. Riley spins away from Perry. Dermott with it. Up to center ice. Kasha chips that. The puck goes over the glass and out of play. 13.48 to go in the second period. Tampa leads 1-0 on Molson Canadian Leafs Hockey on TSN. Steven Stamkos, the pride of Markham, Ontario. Since he entered the league, he has been one of the league's preeminent goal scorers. He certainly enjoys playing in this building. 20 goals in 41 regular season games here. After the morning skate today, Stamkos said that he believes Austin Matthews will be the league's next 60-goal scorer. Stamkos certainly knows what it takes. He's one of only two 60-goal scorers in the last 25 seasons. Alex Ovechkin, of course, being the other one. Guys, Matthews' pace last year would have projected to 65 goals over 82 games. Steven Stamkos, five times 40-plus goals. Twice has led the league in goal scoring. Has not in recent years had long stretches of good health. Gord, he's one of those players you can look at and say injury has really robbed him of, of what possibly could be. Not sure why Icy was waved off there. The Leafs aren't sure either. Now Matthews moves in. Oh, backhand shot stopped by Vasilevsky. The entire rink had stopped. <laughs> there he flips it ahead for Maroon. Rink wide for Stamkos. Looked offside, but play continues. Brody plays it back around for Nylander. William Nylander moves ahead. And he cut the center and finds Matthews. In with Bunting. Matthews slides it across. It's blocked by Jan Ruta. Lead pass for Fare Boulay. Chris crossing with Palat. Fare Boulay holds. Slides it across. Stamkos in. Feeds across. Chop back for Stamkos. He couldn't connect. On the pass across by Palat. Stamkos flumped the backhand pass, so it bounced across to Palat. When he went to return it, he just threw the same bouncing puck back. Here's Palat back with it, out to center ice. And some unhappiness going back to the Lightning bench. Point. Taps that back for Chernak to Kalorn. Kalorn. Harvard man. Moves out ahead for Sorelli. Chips it down and Campbell at the play. Looks around to Lilligren. Lilligren snaps that pass ahead. Broken up by McDonough at center ice. And Kerfoot plays it back for Sandine. Sergachev. Tied up by Kerfoot. Plays it back. Vasilevsky has to wait for it, selects not to play it. Knocked down behind the goal by Kemp. And Sorelli's got it back now for the like The point who chops it out. Morgan Riley plays it across to Engvall. Belmar, hard off the side, boards back down the leaf line. German for Riley, up for Kemp. Engvall feeds it back across, and Joseph knocked that away from Kasha. At the point is Dermott shoots it was off the knee of Engvall. No! And Riley kept it alive for Toronto. And that one hurts. Engvall kind of limps his way to the bench. Belmar in across the line for Joseph. Matthew Joseph. Around Riley walks out and shoots. Hit leg in front. Bouncing puck. Radish couldn't get a shot away. Now Radish reaching for it. Pucks in his feet. And Richie knocks it away for Spezza. Spezza rink wide to Richie. Busting in is Richie. Sends it back and oh, what a save by Vasilevsky, point blank on Simmons. Now Belmar back the other way, tied up by Brody. And Spezza drops it off to Simmons. And now the play is offside at the Lightning line. Vasilevsky stopped Wayne Simmons a couple of times, once in the first period, here in the second. Simmons is trying, or Spezza is trying to flip this all the way across the ice, but Richie grabs it halfway through, lays it down, and he's got the lane to the net. His pass to Simmons is perfect. 
But Vasilevsky, man, he's so big. He gets across, the pads are flat, and he denies Wayne Simmons from in close. And he gets in that butterfly gourd, and the bottom of the net just disappears. too far for him. You first saw Vasilevsky at your first World Junior Championship of the 2012 tournament in Alberta. You were impressed right away. Some guys just look like a star. I thought even as a young kid, man, this guy has the presence, the way he moves around the net, the size. And he just looked like he was going to be a starter, like a star starter. And he's the best in the world right now. Won the Vesna Trophy as the league's top goaltender in 2019. Collins plays it out. Brody up for Nylander. With Matthews and Bunting. Chernock knocked that away. McDonough lost the puck to Bunting. Feeds it back to Brody. Across to Muzzin. Rink wide pass. Bunting taps it back to Brody. Brody along wrist shot. Bounces around in front. Chernock's got it back. To Maroon and bounces away and goes to Muzzin. Matthews drops it off to Bunting. A long shot. That's the fucking wide by Matthew. Colton drops it off for Perry. Corey Perry banks that up to Sandine. Up for Tavares. Tavares drops Kerfoot in. Shoots. That was blocked by Chernak and moved out by Maroon. Raleigh banks it back down to the leaf line. Lilligren to Sandine across to Kerfoot. Kerfoot banks that back for Lilligren. Chipped up by Point. A race for it now. Point gets in behind Lilligren and wins that race for the loose puck. Drops it back. Sorelli tries to go behind his back. Now banks it down to Kalorn. Edmund. For Sorelli, stand on the first try, gets it back and shoots, blocked by Tavares. Now a race for the loose puck, and Ruta goes back to pick it up. Sorelli, lead pass for Kalorn. In comes out of Kalorn, poke checked by Lilligren. Kasha, tied up, and Lilligren back for the loose puck. 16 14, the shots on goal in favor of the Lightning, will lead 1 0. Hank Ball, tips it down to Lightning Zone, Circuit Jeff leaves it there for foot. Al Foot, first round pick of the Lightning back in 2014. 2017, rather. Here comes Stamkos, rips that wide. All right, Boulay. Round for Stamkos. Dermott for Engvall. Sergeyev stepped up on him. Kasha back with it. Foot back defending with Stamkos. Now Ronnie flips that wide. Andre Palak. Takes out ahead and bounces back to Sergeyev. Snaps that pass ahead for Barry Boulay. Spezza moves in, Toronto changing, Spezza shoots, Vasilevsky the arm save. Richie tries to center it. Planted a good scoring chance last shift. Now Palak lifts it back down to the lead line. Brody, long lead feed for Spezza. Belmont tried to clear it, Spezza knocks it down, Simmons turns, the shot was blocked by Palak. Brought ahead by Joseph. Brody squeezed him off the puck. Muzzin, long lead pass for Richie. End of a shift. Richie, in across for Spencer. He hacks that line. Spencer, Richie, and Simmons. End of a long time on the ice for them. And another good scoring chance. All off the back of a great defensive play by Brody and transitional pass up the ice. Inside, seven to go in the second period. Matthews winds his way in for Marner. We got Matthews, Marner, and Bunting the forward line for Toronto. As Hedman sets things up for the Lightning. Pass it center ice for Sorelli. Taps it across for Point. In comes Great Point with a shot off the stick of Thurman. Up and out of play. Good chances for Toronto's fourth line, but Andre Vasilevsky stands tall. It remains 1-0 Lightning on Wilson Canadian Leafs Hockey on TSN. Chance of Wayne Simmons 
Spezza tries to flip this across the ice, but Richie ends up knocking it down. He finds Simmons right on the doorstep. His deflected shot is turned away by Andre Vasilevsky. He has said 5G view gives you the ability to control the angle on every play, zoom in and out, and rotate around the action. But the TSN.ca slash 5G view for more info. Face off in the Toronto zone, Sorelli against Kemp. Kemp wins another defensive zone faceoff. Engvall. Lead pass for Kemp, too far for him, and McDonough back to pick it up. Mentioned those 157 playoff games for Ryan McDonough. Those aren't easy minutes he plays either. As Chernak comes across the line, the play is offside. Yeah, and I mentioned I played about 75, Gordon. And of course, one of my smart Alec buddies texts and says, no, it was 68. <laughs> well, well thanks for that. I appreciate that's, that. That's about Simo. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> But man, he had a fantastic playoff last year. You talk about the heavy minutes, the minutes he plays. There's no power play for Ryan McDonough. It's penalty killing, it's against top lines. And when Victor Hedman wasn't on the ice, he's there. Third year of a seven year extension after coming over that deal from New York. Tavares. Off the puck in the corner. McDonough takes that pass from Stan, goes to an open wing, now Muzzin with it. Up ahead for Kerfoot. McDonough steps hard into him. Tavares back on it, drops it back for Nylander. William Nylander to Kerfoot, wrap around, try Vasilevsky down, able to make the stop. No, I like this from Bunting, or rather from Kerfoot, below the goal line. There's no real play except he lowers his shoulder, and he's going to get himself to the front of the net really quickly. So Vasilevsky's got to follow this. The defenseman McDonough's gone around the back of the net. Now he's trapped by the net. That's a strong move by Kerfoot. He even gets a bounce off of Chernak's foot. Oh, that turns into a really dangerous chance. Like that move, though. You, oftentimes, you'll get it back there. You take a look, and you think there's another play. Sometimes the best move is just to get it into the blue paint. Delmar fires that down. Radish looking for it. Taylor Radish over Erie Otter and Sault Ste. Marie Greyhound. Joseph for Radish. Tied up in the corner by Lilligren. Matthews rather. And Lilligren. Now back at the point is Ruta for Hedman. Hedman shot goes off the stick. Joseph racing after it. Hedman steps up to keep it alive for the Lightning. Sandine back with it. Bunting flying the zone, but Belmar stepped in front of that path to knock it down. Take it right back by Matthew. Here he comes. Drops for Marner with a shot. Off the stick of Hedman, it goes high. Yeah, Marner and Matthews together now with Bunting here, and they end up with a good shot, so they flipped Marner and Nylander here. Tampa's gone more than nine minutes with a shot here in the game. Tavares. Centers it, knocked away from the Nylander by Perry. Kerfoot back on it. Nylander drops that back for Dermott. Back for Nylander, winds it and shoots. That was blocked by Perry, that staggered him. That was poked ahead by Colt. Walking in, Charles a centering pass. Nylander got a stick on that. Knocked away by Vasilevsky. Tampa ices the puck with 4.12 to go in the period. The Leafs have started to engage the game a little bit more. They've been quicker to the puck. They've been quicker to the front of the net. Tavares is shot deflected by Nylander. You see Kerfoot's helmet in the middle of the play. Here's earlier where Matthews leaves this for Marner. He ties up Hedman's stick as he drops it, so Hedman can't poke check Marner. The shot ends up hitting the backside of Hedman and ended up over the net. Off the draw, loose puck trails down to Vasilevsky, and he'll hang on. 4.09 to go here in the second period. 1 0 Lightning lead on Bolts of Canadian Leafs Hockey on TSN. His off season home in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, and his next door neighbor stopped by to visit the Stanley Cup party. And that neighbor knows a thing or two about the cup. His name is on it four times. Got a picture snap with it yet again. That's getting Cooper next door neighbors. Must have lots to talk about in the offseason, but for Cooper, 
another short off season for a team that of course has had the condensed two years the bubble Stanley Cup win and then last year's more conventional one after a short and regular season in his 10th year as the head coach of the Lightning Brooks Norfolk to a American League title back in 2012 that team won 28 straight games in the regular season At the point, McDonough leaves it there for point. Great point. Looks down to Sorelli. Here's Sorelli. Spins and shoots. He fired that wide. McDonough back on it. Killorn. Back in the line. Chernak shoots. That goes off a leg and wide. Now Marner back with it. Back around, Braden Point scoops up the rolling puck. Point down to Kalorn. McDonough with it. McDonough back to Ruta, tees it up and shoots. That deflects. Goes over the glass and out of play. Good cycle shift for Tampa Bay, and Jan Ruta's shot has ended up deflecting out into the netting. Ruta's one of those guys that just sort of fits. He's not a star. He doesn't play big minutes. He just fits with Victor Hedman. So Hedman can roam around the ice. Ruta kind of does his thing in the middle of the ice. He reads when Hedman goes left to right. He moves over to the left. They found him to be a really valuable player at a good cost when they got him from Chicago. Well, you need players like that, right? I mean, you don't. You have to. I mean, we. You've got players chewing up large chunks of your cap. To, Lower end guys on your roster, money wise, have to be contributors for you. If you can figure out how to play with Victor Hedman, you're probably going to have a good career because that guy, as you mentioned, five years in a row is in the Norris finals. Yeah, fantastic. Play. It's amazing to think back to the World Junior in 09. He and his defense partner, Eric Carlson, bouncing back for Kasha. That bounced away. Back at the point, Durbin, a shot goes off the leg of Stan, goes up and out of play. There's really no part of the game that Victor Hedman doesn't touch and doesn't become a leader for the Tampa Bay Lightning. You look at where he sits and, well, I guess you don't have to look anywhere. It's first, everywhere in the Tampa Bay, in the history of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Just a, a fantastic player whose physical size and mobility allows him to do things that other people just can't do. Player drafted after John Tavares, second overall in the 09 draft. Here's Sandine with a shot. That broke the stick of Sorelli. And Sandine gathers up the puck. Well, good move by Sandine. Head to the net. Sorelli can't do anything with it. Sandine being watched by Sorelli. Back to Nylander at the top. Cross he goes to Lilligren. To the goal mouth. Tavares holds, slides it back. Nylander works in. William Nylander. Drops it down to Tavares, a roll off his stick. Nylander gathers it back up. On a goal scoring leader with four on the year, Nylander. Needs that back to Lilligren. Takes a return pass from Sandine. Lilligren works it and shoots, punched up by Vasilevsky. Lightning can't clear it. With a five on four and a half here. Kerfoot back to Nylander. Shoots, Vasilevsky saved, he can't corral the rebound. Kalor, a little backhand pass, gets it up to center ice. Point in a race will negate the icing. And the Lightning can get their players off the ice. It's really good new stick. Point centering pass. Jones of a point blank chance. Turned away by Jack Campbell. That's Tampa's first shot in over 12 minutes. And it's from about three feet away. Jack Campbell remains sharp to make the save as Point finds it all oh, right through the feet of Sandine. And Matthew Joseph has. A shot from the top of the blue turned aside. Here's Sorelli wandering around with no stick. Look at Sandine. He knows he can't really defend him, so he drives into the play. Now he's going to get the puck back. Sorelli can't do anything but try and stay between Sandine and the net. Eventually, Sandine ends up in front of the net where there's a rebound. Of course, in second period, the long chain the bench must have looked like it was two miles from him. Joseph plays it around for Belmar. Here's 
Hedman with it. Victor Hedman throws out ahead for Radish. Chips for Joseph, and now Matthews knocks it down. Mike Ross informed us the last minute of the second period, and the faceoff will come back down to the Toronto zone after the icing. Much better period for the Leafs here. Down one nothing in the first period, where really had trouble getting to the puck, getting any pressure. They had that five on three, two full minutes at the end of the period where they got absolutely nothing from it. But a much more engaged second period. Haven't found a way past Vasilevsky yet. And goes with the face off back. Kalorin's shot was blocked by a diving, bunting Sergachev. That's the hustle back. Toronto changing after the icing. Sergachev lead pass for Palat. In with Hedman, drops it back for Stan. Goes that's picked up by Brody. Lead pass for Simmons. Tampa's changing. In comes Simmons. Oh, what a stop by Vasilevsky again. Centering pass blocked by Vasilevsky. And Simmons has had two five-star chances taken away by Andre Vasilevsky. Tampa got caught on a change, and Simmons is wide open for the breakaway chance. Now Vasilevsky lead that up with 18 seconds to go in the period. Simmons has been good tonight. He had that chance, remember, in the first period as well, Gordon. Another terrific play. Brody's been the best Leaf defenseman tonight. He finds Simmons, and Simmons is going to try to deke Vasilevsky. I, I've never thought deking Vasilevsky is a good play because of his mobility and how big he is. He spreads out and takes away the bottom half of the net. Simmons tries to get it around the right side of him, and Vasilevsky spreads out to make the save. John Cooper has said the best legs of any goalie in the league. So powerful, so fast. I, th I honestly think you've got to shoot it on him as, as maybe unappetizing as that would be on a breakaway. I just don't think he can get it around his feet. Thurman. He passed to Matthews that bounces into the Toronto bench and it weeds Simmons. That leaf fourth line has been as dangerous as anyone here to, in the second period. Simmons with a couple of chances as you mentioned. There's that move and there's the power in Vasilevsky as he moves left to right to make the save. Simmons knows he's had two great second period goals at it. Chernak leaves it there for point. And the Lightning will lead the second period with the same lead they had after the first. It's 1-0 through 40 minutes as we send you to our second intermission and James Duffy. After the second period, play the score, he's doing probably the zero to take the Lightning one. Oh, Tampa went 12 minutes without a shot at one point in that second period, 22-17 overall in favor of the Maple Leafs. Gord Miller back with Ray Ferraro and Ray. The other night we were talking about the big guns firing for Toronto. It was Matthews with a couple, Marner, Nylander. Tonight it's some lesser lights. You're going to call them other support players who are making a difference. Yeah, they are because the, the big boys really haven't gotten anything done for the Leafs. It's been really quite obvious how much of a struggle it's been for the top end of the Leaf lineup. The fourth line has been really good. Simmons had a chance in the first period. Here Richie gets one in tight. Simmons is going to get a great cross crease pass from, from Richie here that Vasilevsky turns away. And what has happened really is they've gotten to the front of the net. They've gotten to where the chances are. The, the other guys have been away on the outside. Here's Kerfoot later in the period, a wraparound. <laughs> that Vasilevsky turns aside. Now get some help from the Tampa players down here. And then Simmons on the breakaway. <laughs> Pat Maroon was just helping me with my notes. He was trying to read what I had written about him, which isn't much, but except three Stanley Cups. So, anyways, that was on. Anyway, Simmons has been terrific. He's had a couple of good chances, had the breakaway, turned aside. At least need more from their big guys here. Marner chips that down to McDonough. That was his back up. Boy, the Lightning Chernak. Missed point with that pass. Icing waved off as Dermott goes back. I remember in the pregame show, Mike Johnson in his Magic Mike segment liked the long odds of the game going to overtime. Huh? A one nothing game here in the third period. It's hard to think yeah. back to the last time these teams played. March 10th, 2020, Ray, remember that night? Toronto won it. Morgan Riley just back from an ankle injury, broken 
what a thing it was. Things looked good that night. And two nights or two days later, we were in this building. As the announcement was made that the season was on hold. It's uh, hard to believe, isn't it? Where we've all gone in those times. Belmar drops it back. Ruka with a shot was off the stick of Kerfoot and wide. Next game for these teams were played here in the bubble. Nylander moves ahead with Kerfoot. In comes William Nylander across the Kerfoot of Belmar. Trailing back. Knock that away. Brody. Knocks it down the line and shoots at it. The stick of Matthew Joseph. He quickly checks it. Tavares drops it back for Muzzin. Radish tied up there by Muzzin. Belmar chips it back to the Toronto zone and Brody down to Ruta. Ruta kind of the new Anton Strahlman for Tampa. Strahlman was a terrific guy here for a long time, unheralded, but a stabilizer for the Lightning. Left for Muzzin. Tied up by Palat. Plays it around for Kasha. Muzzin backhands out ahead for Kasha. Engvall trying to flip that rink wide. Flumped over to Sandin, who fires it down to the lightning zone. On it quickly is Kasha. Slides that back to Lilligren, a shot that ramps off a stick and wide. Jam plays, sign of the goal. Engvall reaching for it. Vasilevsky knocked that away. Puck loose in the slot. Lilligren couldn't quite reach it. Now Sandin on it. Banks it down to camp. Palat waiting for it. Palat's lead pass. Miss Stamkos. Sandin trails back. Sandin, rink wide pass, finds Spezza in behind Maroon. Spezza throws it back, and Maroon knocked that away. There's a note you can put down for Maroon, right? Good back check. There it is, good back check. And the only goal of the game. <laughs> and three Stanley Cups. Okay, the, the notes are starting to fill up. Now a centering pass for Maroon, jammed that wide. It's a bit of an unmade bet sometimes, but... Gets it done, doesn't it? It really does. Long history with John Cooper. Yeah. Won the Stanley Cup in St. Louis and now back to back here. Maroon. Plays it across the post to Perry rather. Perry fires it down to the Toronto zone. Dermot waiting for it. Riley. That pass picked off by Sergeyev. And it bounces away from Sorelli. Riley drops that back. Here's Bunting. Leaving it for Dermott. Bunting fires that down. Vasilevsky out to play it. Back at the point. Brody sweeps it in deep for Marner. Marner gets loose. Centering pass just missed Matthews. Sergeyev knocked that away. Bunting. Got a stick tied up by Sorelli. Now Kalorn. Not punching off the puck, and Sorelli plays it back to the Toronto zone. Lightning will be in Ottawa Saturday afternoon. Carter chips it there for Matthews, drops to Bunting, shoots, and Vasilevsky makes the save. Is it time for a change? Ozempic is now covered across Canada by all public and most private plans. Ask your doctor or visit ozempic.ca to learn more. Michael Bunting has the latest leaf shot. Nice little play on the quick up from Marner through his own feet to Matthews. Chernak closes Matthews out of the play, and there's the Bunting shot that Vasilevsky's able to glove. Tavares with the face off against Stamp, goes 291s. High in the air to Palat. Big white pass is knocked down. Nylander swings it back for Lilligren. Sandin dropped that back. The pass misfired for Nylander. Rasmus Sandin up ahead for Kerfoot. Chris crossing there with Nylander. Kerfoot off the puck to McDonough. All right, Boulay. Gets that battle for the puck and plays it back out to center ice. Great wide pass knocked down by Nylander. Chernock took that away. We're going to see a lot of guys come back to the bench and they almost an exasperated look on their face like both teams. Like it's just so hard right now to get any space. The game is just 
become a check fest here. The two teams that like to score. Now a steal, a quick chance for Belmar, turned away by Campbell. Belmar and Antoine Roussel, the two French born and trained players who have played 500 games in the NHL. Kasha long shot, Vasilevsky to stop. Joseph plays around for Belmar. Longtime NHLer Paul McLean is also French born but didn't grow up there. And here's Cal Foot. Snaps that pass ahead. Finds Colt. Ross Colt in shoots and Campbell makes the save on him. So while you can be exasperated that there's no room, you can't let yourself get really frustrated. These games are tough to play. You don't get much. It feels like a shift just melts away. That's a chance wasted. You don't get anything done. You go back to the bench and you squeeze your stick a little harder. But these are the ones that it's a simple play, a little chip up the boards, a little puck support, a little zone time that you can find the equalizer if you're Toronto. Like it, it doesn't always have to be a great play. And tonight, it doesn't look like it's going to be that. Now a steal by Richie. Brody jumps to the rush, but Richie was poke checked by Kalor. Brody's had a great night tonight. Muzzin. Rink wide pass to Spetsa. Mason Spetsa lifts that down, goes wide of the goal, hops down to Ruta. Hedman plays it back around to him. Up for Sorelli to point. Moving up with Kalor. Back to Braden Point. Kalor. Long shot, drifts wide, back at the point, Ruta waiting for it. Plays it back in deep point, tangled up there with Muzzin. Hedman ranges back. As both teams change. Hedman's pass, knocked down by Martyr. Matthews drops it back to Sandine. In comes Matthews for Bunting. Bunting, tied up in the corner by Hedman. And Belmar back at the point for Sandine, a long shot that deflected wide. Hedman on it. Bunting broke up that pass. Now Bunting back on it, finds Marner. He's poke checked there on a good defensive play by Chernak. Matthews gathers it back up. Austin Matthews drops it back to Sandine with time. Sandine moves around. Belmar shoots and a glove save by Vasilevsky. 12.46 to go in the third period. Leafs come close. It remains a 1-0 Lightning lead here in the third period. Tampa Bay having two shots in the last 20 minutes. It's been Andre Vasilevsky. While the Leafs had a slow start, they've had the majority of the scoring chances over the last 25 minutes. Vasilevsky's been terrific from in close, from in the slot, and when there's been a chance where he's all alone on the breakaway, he turns aside Wayne Simmons too. The game's best goaltender has been perfect tonight. There's Sandine, plays it down to Marner, spins and shoots, that's blocked by Chernak. Like the EA Sports NHL game, the, the analysis is a bit weak. But... Yeah, I think it's, uh, I think you'd be surprised how how much stuff you can make up in a, in a small little room and try and make it fit to a game. Arm shooting goes wide, that goes Sandine for it, nicely called against the Lightning. Eric Chernak was acquired by the Lightning from L.A. for Ben Bishop nearly five years ago. Chernak is a, is a solid player, just one of those quiet players that gets the job done. We see the Stamkos Matthews battle off the faceoff and in front of the net, they'll go back at it again. And Stamkos wins that draw to Chernak who sends it out. Tampa likes that long lead pass, but not so much up in the air, but they'll post someone at the far blue line for a redirect pass with guys flying out of the zone. And now Vasilevsky will pounce on that. 12.06 to go here in the third period. Gord, the other night against uh, Vegas late in the second period, Sheldon Keefe went with this line. Matthews, Marner, Nylander in the offensive zone. They scored right away. Nylander will stay out with Tavares here. Richie, who has had a good night, gets a little pop up here with Tavares. And, and you've got to recognize when the opportunity's there. I mean, he's fallen to the fourth line. You got a chance here. Get yourself to the front of the net. 
Under 12 minutes each of the last three games. So the door opens here for him. Hedman plays it back to center ice. Picked up there by Sorelli for Barry Boulay in the feet of Dermott. Dermott has point bearing on him as well. Barry Boulay got a stick on Dermott. Play continues. There's been a penalty called since the first period. Since that five on three, right? Uh, Camp had that one, right? Oh, no, that's, that's it. it. Yeah, that's that's it. it. The five on three was the last one. In comes Nylander. Nylander shoots. Club save by Zalewski. Hedman clears the rebound. And Sorelli banks it back to center. Pleasant. Dances around Perry. Back in that down the lightning zone. Foot goes back for it. Cal Foot made his season debut against Washington. Earlier this week as McDonough plays it back out. And a race for it. Maroon's going to get there first and negate the icing. Not sure how many times I've said that, but he did it there. Now back in the point. Foot tees it up and fires it wide. Now McDonough had that skip away. Plays it back across the foot. Perry has it. Down to the Toronto bench. Or so it appeared. Play continues. Hands with it. Banks it back down the lightning zone. Belmar. Up for Ruta. And quickly ahead for Joseph. Matthew Joseph chips out ahead. Belmar goes hunting for a Lilligren. Got it. And picked up by Kasha. But kept the line for Circuit Jeff to Ruta. Banks it off the inboard. Belmar got a stick on it. Belmar, tied up by Sandine, stays on it. Plays it back in behind the Toronto goal. Joseph, battling for it. Camp had the wall sealed by Ruta. Let's move back down the lightning zone midway through the third period. Circuit chap for Stamkos. In comes Steven Stamkos. In shoots. He whistled that wide. Simmons. Rink wide pass for Bunton. Now in comes Bunting, drops it off to Spezza. This is Bunting with Spezza and Simmons. Lauren pokes it ahead. Spezza knocks it down. Spezza stripped there by Kalorn. Edmund moves it back down to the Toronto zone. Long lead feed for Simmons. Drops it off to Spezza. Spezza to Simmons. Back for Spezza to pass it behind him. Hedman banks it ahead. He's got point in behind Durbin. Bring point in alone. Stop by Campbell. Rebound. Oh, what a stop by Campbell. Takes it away from Joseph. Two five star saves by Jack Campbell to keep it a 1 0 game. I think Travis Dermott actually stopped that second one, Gord. Now Dermott back Huge on. Huge save. Riley back around to Dermott. Long pass to Matthews. Steps away from Perry. Corey Perry, Perry was a central figure in the playoff series to Toronto Montreal last spring. And Maroon picks it up. The collision with John Tavares in game one. Chernak plays that down. Wide the goal. Maroon on it. Maroon with the only goal in the game. Towards the first period, Marner banks it to Tavares. He knocks Maroon off stride. Now Hedman has Nylander all over him. Tavares. And that knocked away by Colton. And Brody back with it. Inside eight to go in the third period. Maroon got a stick on that. Muzzin reaches back for Toronto. Muzzin, lead pass for Kasha. Digging for it. Picked up by Kalorn. He runs over Tavares. I thought that was interference. And now Kasha back with it. Swings that down the lightning zone. Vasilevsky out to play. Around the foot. Up for Kalorn. Interesting. Richie's got another shift here this time with, with Kasha and Camp. Palat trying to get behind Lilligren, but he held his ground. Stankos pokes it free. Kalorn to Stankos. And Campbell makes it another save. Shot. Engvall picks it up. Cash 
Deception. Deep pass ring ball knocked away by foot. In comes Kalorn with it now. Alex Kalorn. Inside seven to go in the third period. Jack Campbell standing tall. Riley plays it around. McDonough. Loose in the corner. Ryan McDonough, though, feeds it ahead for Radish. He'll bank it back to center. Long time between whistles here in the third period. Chipped in by Matthews. Vasilevsky out to play it. Now Marner spins that wide of the goal. Buzzing races to it. Holds the line for Toronto. Down to Bunting. Bunting tied up by McDonough. Marner chips it in front. Knocked down by Chernak. He finds Sorelli. Up ahead for Point. In comes Braden Point. Flips it back in front. Spins and shoots. Campbell save. Rebound. Oh, another stop on Sorelli. Incredible goaltending. Lee pass the Spets. He shoots. Ruta gets a stick on that. Now Sandin pumped there by Joseph. Here's Simmons on it. Kerfoot now up to this line. The blender's out. For Toronto coach Sheldon Keith with the lines. Loses Beth to try to center. That's blocked by Ruta. Joseph chips that down to Toronto zone. And as Lilliman goes back, icing called against the Lightning. Whoa, what a sequence that was. Brilliant piece of goaltending by Jack Campbell. The Leafs are still in this because Campbell is at the top of his game three times. First, it's Braden Point. Through the five hole, Campbell turns it aside. A misplay, now it's Stamkos the other way. Campbell gets a pad on it. And then it's Point again, a great move around Brody. The shot, the deflection, the rebound, no suit for anyone. Campbell's brilliance keeps it one nothing. Sandine plays it across to Lilligren. Lead for Matthews. Belmar stays with him, and Vasilevsky back to play for the Lightning. Kalor. Up for Chernak to Palat. Andre Palat works in for the trailer. Belmar tees it up and shoots, and Campbell makes another save. He's been terrific here in the third period. It remains a 1-0 game on Molson Canadian Leafs Hockey on TSN. Pretty intense five minutes of goaltending here for Jack Campbell. He gets bumped into at the end of the Stamco save. Now he's got to fight for position. He kind of struggles to get back up. Takes a deep breath, catches himself back into the game, and he's... A flat center, Stamco oh, shot, another one. save by Campbell. Stamco's again, stopped by Campbell. That was a blocker stop, unbelievable save by Campbell. And he lost his stick in the process. Toronto doing everything but scoring here in the third period. Kalorn. Tampa all over them as Campbell stands tall. Rep on try for Kalorn, and Campbell turns that away. Campbell's done everything but put one into the net for Toronto. In comes Marner. Pokes that by Chernak. Vasilevsky sweeps it across to Chernak. Out to center ice. Dermott drops it back to Riley. Morgan Riley gains center ice and fires that down and shoot it. Skips down, pull, knocks it free. Now picked up by Tavares behind the goal. Back to Spezza. Long shot by Dermott. Penalty coming. Vasilevsky gloves that. We got a roughing call coming here. And it's going against Toronto. Bunting will go off with 3.57 to go in the third. Around the front of the Toronto net, we'll get a 5G look at Jack Campbell's stop on Braden Point. Point goes between the five hole, Campbell stops it, and it'll also show that Matthew Joseph's shot hits Travis Dermott in the pants and goes wide. Yes, and 5G view gives you the ability to control the angle on every play, zoom in and out, and rotate around the action. Visit tsn.ca slash 5G view for more info. It's offsetting penalties to Bunting and to Ross Colt. Here's a little battle in front. So Colton's got a wrap on a stick. Bunting ends up shoving him in the back. So Bunting and Colton both go with under four minutes left. 
So it's four on four with 357 to go in the third period. Is this advantage the trailing team? Depends how. No, I don't think there's an advantage here. You mean with more ice? Yeah, just. Well, I guess you've got room to skate and hold it with the, you know, with the puck if you get it. Matthews for the faceoff against Belmar. He's up around 60% this year, and he wins that one cleanly. McDonough around to Chernak. Chernak drops it back to Joseph. Now Belmar back with it. Inter interesting that Tampa's got their. They're penalty killers, really. They're top penalty killing forwards, Joseph and Belmar against Matthews and Marner. Here's Dermott with it. Three and a half to go in the third period. Travis Dermott drops it back to Riley. Across to Matthews. Austin Matthews. In across the line, drops it off to Marner. Matthews back with it. Drops it back, no one there. Race for it now, Palat. In on Dermott and knocks that away. Here comes Matthews in across the line. Drops it off to Marner. Marner had to roll off his stick. Vasilevsky plays it away. They got Point and Palat together. The puck just squeezed out. Riley to Sandine. Rasmus Sandine. Little hesitation move. The Lightning thought that was offside. And the puck goes back to center ice. Picked up by Tavares for Nylander. Campbell looking at the Toronto bench for instructions. He's told to hold for now. Nylander flips it down to the Lightning zone. Sergeyev back for it. Takes a whack there from Nylander. And Hedman on the rolling puck. Victor Hedman, rink wide pass for Sorelli. Knocked down by Sandine. And now, Keith indicating for Campbell to come to the bench. Here he comes, Sandine. In across the line, the extra skater comes on. It's Spezza. Five skaters on four for Toronto. Centering pass, knocked down by Sergeyev. Backhands that high in the air. And Muzzin races back to pick it up. Muzzin drops it off to Spezza. Jason Spezza works it across to Riley. That plays offside at the Tampa line. And Lightning coach John Cooper was the first man to get his arm in the air on that offside. It's been a long night for Mitch Marner. Not a good night after a terrific night on Tuesday. He gets a pass from Matthews and sometimes it's just not your day and Marner fumbles that into the corner. He's gonna get another chance here. There's two minutes left. The goalie's gonna be out of the net. The face off is outside the lightning blue line after the offside. Campbell remains on the bench. It looks like they're gonna no, they're, they're gonna put him halfway back here, Gordon. So, so it'll be well hang on, at least have too many players on the ice. It's four it's supposed to be four on four. At least have five skaters and Campbell out there. Now, Muzzin will go off. Matthews for the faceoff against Belmar. Another faceoff win for him. McDonough up to center ice. Belmar knocks that down. Final seconds of the four on four. So Bunting steps on with Colton. In comes Sorelli. On Riley, inside two to go in the third period. Bunting leaping to pick up that loose puck. Bunting up in for Riley. Here comes Campbell back to the Toronto bench. This time the extra skater is Tavares. Picked up by Matthews. Drops it back to Nylander. Six skaters on five for Toronto. Riley back for Nylander. To Marner. Marner to Riley. 90 seconds to go in the third. Marner swings it down to Matthews. Matthews back to Riley. Shoots it goes off the leg. Picked up by Nylander. Nylander fires. That's just wide. Riley reaching for it. Keeps it alive at the line. Matthews centers it. Marner down the corner for Tavares. That's broken up by McDonough. And Riley can't hold the line as the lightning will change. Nylander. Bang pass ahead for Bunting. Knocked down by Chernak. Lifts it back down to the Toronto zone. Final minute now in the third period. Trying to make a first period goal by Patrick Maroon stand up. Vasilevsky leaves it there for Hedman. Hedman, clearing attempt, knocked down by Tavares. For Matthew. Tavares, a centering pass. John Tavares ties the game with 41 seconds to go. Fuck 
on his stick. But Victor Hedman turns his puck over. And the Leafs quickly, Matthews to Marner, to John Tavares, and he beats Andre Vasilevsky with just 41 ticks left on the clock. And the Leafs, who at times looked frustrated to the point where nothing was happening, have tied this game up on John Tavares' one-touch goal to the top corner, his fourth of the year, and we're tied at one. His third in the last four games, so Hedman can't clear it, and the Leafs make them pay to tie it up. And not to be forgotten, the goal performance of Jack Campbell here in the third period. It's really the only thing to remember. Matthew Joseph plays it in deep. Ruby drops it back to Blizzard. And now Brody picks his way ahead as time winds down in the third period. And Mike Johnson is right again. Yes. Overtime it is. Those long odds paid off for him, but for the Leafs. They break through in the third period after Jack Campbell turns in a stellar third period goaltending performance. Sometimes you get it set up the way you want and it just doesn't work out. I mean, who would think that Hedman's going to turn it over here like he does? He's got full control of the puck. There's plenty of time for him to get it out and he just doesn't get enough on it. The puck is kept in by Tavares. And then the little give and go, he finds the space just in front of Mikhail Sergachev to one time the Marner pass. Passed Andre Vasilevsky up into the top of the net. A beautiful shot by Tavares. And we're headed to overtime. Leafs have been to overtime twice this year. Lost to the Rangers here. Beat Chicago in Chicago. Lightning are 2-0 in overtime this year. Another game go to a shootout. But man, Jack Campbell, I mean, half a dozen five-star saves. Brilliance. Brilliance in the third period from the breakaway to point, the breakaway to Stamkos. The rebound on point again. Just a brilliant goaltending performance for Jack Campbell. So off to overtime we go. The, the score was two to one the last time these teams played. That was a Toronto regulation win. Both these teams trying to run their winning streaks to four games. Shots 29-25 Toronto through regulation. A long period of this game, almost 20 minutes, where Tampa only had two shots on goal. So the Leafs will wait to see who Tampa puts on the ice here. And not surprisingly, Hedman, who's played about 24 minutes tonight, almost 25, jumps on the ice with Point Sorelli. And and, and for those of us who are here, Ray, mercifully, this will not go five overtimes. I was comfortable at home. This will be five minutes max. Matthews, Marner, Riley for Toronto, Point, Sorelli, and Hedman for Tampa. And here comes Matthews with Marner. Austin Matthews drops for Marner. In comes Marner on Sorelli. Drops it back to Riley. Morgan Riley to Marner. Shoots Vasilevsky to save. He wants to quick up, but he bobbled it for a moment. And now Hedman banks it. That's knocked down by Matthews in front of Sorelli. Matthews to Marner with room. In comes Mitch Marner to Matthews. Pokes it back in front. That's knocked away by Hedman. And Hedman looks up the ice quickly. Comes around Matthews. Victor Hedman with the lightning changing will buy some time as Stamkos comes on. And takes that pass from Hedman. Crisscrossing with Palat. In comes Stamkos. Pulls his way back in front. Puck check there by Riley. Puck loose at center ice to Tavares. In comes Tavares. Walking in. Stopped by Vasilevsky. And a penalty coming down to the Lightning. 
A slashing call will go to Tampa in overtime, and the Leafs will go to the power play as Hedman goes off. Tampa Bay, number 77, two minutes for slashing. This play starts on a late change from Austin Matthews. Matthews had been on the ice to start the overtime. He changes. He's way behind the plate. And as he changes, that leaves Tavares behind everyone. He gets into the clear on the wrap clear. And Hedman the slash on the hands. And this leaf power play that muffed the two-minute five-on-three in the first period will get a chance to put this game away in overtime. A clear slashing penalty. Probably close to a penalty shot again. Leafs have scored power play goals at back-to-back -back games. They call timeout here. And Sheldon keeps saying the puck's got to move. The point you made in the first period. You can't just move it and not shoot it. There's so much that opens up off a shot on goal where the penalty killers have to react to the unpredictable bounce off the goaltender. If you just move it around predictably, they can stay in position. Tampa will have to, will have Belmar against Tavares on the draw. It's a four-on-three power play for the Leafs. Four forwards for the Leafs. Tavares, Nylander, Matthews, Marner. Belmar and the two defensemen, McDonough and Chernak for the Lightning. Scramble draw control by the Leafs. Here's Marner. In for Nylander. Back to Marner. Across to Matthews. Matthews to Marner. Back to Matthews. Slaps it back across. Nylander holds. He's taken down by Belmont. Matthews. Feeds it down the goal line to Tavares. John Tavares back for Marner. Marner. To Nylander is shot. That's blocked by Chernak. And Chernak puts it over Marner and back down the ice. There's the unsung Chernak with a big block. And comes Marner. Walks in. Shoots off the outside of the post. Tavares walks in, waits and shoots. Vasilevsky save. He lost the rebound for a moment. I don't think he saw it, Gord. It was an awkward save. Hit him right on the toe. Matthews drops it off to Tavares. Now Tavares back for Nylander. Across to Matthew. Inside a minute to go on the power play. Nylander swings it across to Marner. Holds, blocks it, shoots. Vasilevsky a blocker save. Nylander back with it to Matthews. Matthews back for Marner. Takes a return pass from Nylander. They play pitch and catch. Nylander swings it down to Tavares. Oh, back hand shot. Stop by Vasilevsky. Loose puck in front. That's kicked away. Vasilevsky down has lost his goal stick. He got it back up. Here's Marner. 30 seconds to go on the power play. Marner shoots. Tipped in front by Tavares. Still loose. Nylander picks it up. Nylander back to Marner. Marner shoots off the leg of Sorelli. Hired penalty killers on the ice now. Matthews feeds it across. Nylander shoots, scores! William Nylander, overtime winner! And Toronto takes it 2-1! Almost to the end of the power play, William Nylander puts this away. Marner dances in earlier. He's going to hit the outside of the goal post as he beats Vasilevsky. We talked about the need to shoot the puck. Four shots on goal, about six shot attempts before Nylander's shot beats Vasilevsky. You get the defense scrambling. They start to move. They can't deny the passes that are in position or that are made by your positioning. You move them. Now you get Sergachev deep. Matthews finds Nylander. And this is a bullet, perfectly placed at Toronto. A last-minute goal by Tavares, an overtime goal by Nylander on the power play, and a 2-1 win. Leafs have won four in a row. And Nylander has his team-leading fifth goal of the year. 2-1 Toronto is the final score. And here are tonight's Molson three stars from this one. Star number one. Jack Campbell in the third period alone saved this game for Toronto. Andre Vasilevsky is star number two, the goaltender for the Lightning. And John Tavares with a tying goal with 41 seconds left in the third period. 
2-1 is the final score in favor of Toronto. Next up for us at Olsen Canadian Leafs Hockey. Next Friday, the Hall of Fame game as the Leafs play host of the Calgary Flames. Coverage starts at 6.30 Eastern time on TSN 4 in the Leafs region. For Mark Masters, Ray Ferraro, all of us at TSN, I'm Gordon Miller. Thanks for tuning in to Olsen Canadian Leafs Hockey. Now, stand by for Sports Center. Here's Jennifer Hedger.